Let's have a look at Serum's oscillators, the source of its wavetable sonics. The initialized patch gives us just a saw wave in oscillator A. We can change it from the menu at the top of the oscillator. Choose analog and basic shapes. This gives us just a sine wave to start with, but we can change it by moving the WT position control. If we click the waveform display, we can see all the waves in the wavetable. The point of wavetable synthesis is to modulate the wavetable position like this to get an interesting, evolving sound. Let's load another wavetable. Go for the digital category and select Prime. This is a more consistent wavetable. Instead of stepping through the waves, the movement is smoother and more evolving. Another way to mess with the wave is using the warp control. Here you select between ways to skew and bend the waveform and decide how much is applied. Phase dictates the point in the waveform that the playback will actually start. And the random control widens the scope of where it will happen from. Tuning is handled a lot like any other synth. Tune an oscillator in octaves. Semitones. And scents. And that's just one oscillator. Oscillator B doubles the fun and there are also sub and noise oscillators to get your teeth into. Select the wave and the octave for the sub. And set its level and panning. The noise oscillator gives you a choice of sampled noise sources. Serum's main oscillators can also accept PNG images as source files. Just drag them in to load them up. The luminance of the images corresponds to the amplitude of the waveform at that point in the table.